Hey everyone, so it's still Sunday. This is the second video in at least four that I wanted to do involving those computers. And I'm recording them on the same day, hence why I'm not going to do the usual time, date, etc. Because it's all the same date. Different time of day, same date. So, anyway, in this video we're going to be looking at the other one of my brother's computers. Um, I bought from him, which was this one. Now, this is another project that he bought sometime last year. I actually have absolutely no idea if this is going to do anything. <laughs> um, I haven't even gone and got a hard drive. I don't know if it's going to turn on. I don't know what operating system I'm going to put on it. Believe it or not, despite having two PCIe video slots, it actually uses DDR400 RAM. Yep, that is four DDR400 RAM slots in there. I've currently got the two one gigabyte sticks of DDR400 in there. So, I've not even turned this on myself yet. I've just literally set it up here, just uploaded a video to YouTube and whatnot, and edited that up and put the footage from the last video from the camera on the PC, yeah, blah, blah, blah. So, uh, let's press the button and, um, if I spit that again, <laughs> press the button and see if it does anything. That's a good sign. What's not a good sign is I'm not getting any... Oh, I have. <coughs> so, there's the model number. I think I'm going to go with Windows XP on this one, so I'm going to have to go and... So you must check some error default loaded. Yes, it's only detecting the um, CDRW. Which is actually a DVD ROM drive. Sony? Is it? Oh, it is Sony. Oh, I see it's because it's... Yeah, alright then. It is reading it correct. Because it's written the same way on the label on the top of the drive there. Anything in it? No. Right. It's good to know that RAM works. I do somewhere have another one gigabyte stick. It could be in the box up there. It might be in one of my other XP machines. I have absolutely no idea. What's that one? Oh, that's so dim. That one that's in the wrong box. Right. I'm going to go and find a hard drive, but the question is how do I plug in a hard drive? <laughs> um, I don't know if you can see it from there. I can't find a power a spare power connector apart from that one, and that ain't going to reach down there to the hard drive. Uh, Well, the camera decided to shut itself off when I had my back turned to it. So I took that pause just to go and get a hard drive. I'll just zoom out again. So I've got an 80 gig Hitachi DeskStar SATA hard drive. That's what I decided to go for. One of the reasons I actually decided to go for one of those is one, it's going to put this hard drive to use because chances of me using that on one of my main machines is slim to none and two I can I've got this adapter so I can lengthen that lengthen that well, I'm not spitting words out lengthen that I hope um yeah there's another wind power power supply in this oh, no, the other one didn't have a wind power was it it was just this one Right, so let's shut her off. Get this connected, I hope. Not about anyone else, but I always find that this can be an absolute bitch. You gotta get the pins lined up because the pins move around. Right, I'm gonna just see if I can tuck this ribbon cable up here out of the way. 
cable management's not actually too bad in this, to be honest. Right, that's going to give me, that is, plenty of room. I don't know, but I think the front audio or something might be disconnected. There's wire down here and I'm not sure what it's actually for. Right, anyway, I should be able to just slot this in here for now. She says. Try and get the holes to line up. Right, let's get the power plugged in. I know my big head's getting in the way. Oh, what should I go for? Blue or red? Blue, red, blue, red. Which one's number one? I don't think it really matters. What tiny little fan on there? Let's just tuck that in there. Um. Go with the blue one. I don't know why, but my voice keeps cracking. I don't know if anyone else has noticed that. I'm going to plug it on that one as well. What do I do with my CDs? I'm going to need the XP disc out of there, aren't I? Just make sure it's going to do something. I don't know what the hell that crack was. At the moment, I've just got a simple um, graphics adapter in there. Just one of these silly little adapter things because it needs something in there because there's no on board. Um, yeah, there's no on board VGA or anything, so I had to put something in. That's pretty much all I've got. Um, but this one would actually make quite a nice XP gaming build as well, to be honest. So that's on SATA number two. I didn't press reset, you stupid thing. That's it. So, is that one number one? Yes, I am getting that antsy with it. <coughs> Bite me. <laughs> Bingo. might at some point swap the power supply in here as well for something a wee bit better. Where's the wattage of that? Oh, it's a 450. I don't think I've got anything that's actually any better to be honest. Da -da 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 -da. F1. Now will it boot from the CD? Start windows normally. Just that curiosity. Really? The undrive light work. There's no power light on the front though. There's an LED for it, but it's not lit up, so that could be plugged onto the board around the wrong way. To, oh, here's a torch. I can double check that. That is a noisy hard drive. do anything then is it I'm gonna to have to uh, reinstall that's not a problem mm, yes power LED is actually on around the wrong way close but no cigar right let's try it Might be the wrong connector for that header, to be honest. Okay, so I'm going to have to change the boot order, aren't I? Well, hey, we've got power LED now. So, 
I have to go into setup and change the boot order. Use the boot from the disc first. Let's move some of these tools out of the way, shall we? And it's not going to, is it? Shall I try to boot it or go into boot again? Not be a jackass. I've got a way around that. Hang on. We'll shut it down. We'll shut it down. Thank you. I'll disconnect the hard drive. <laughs> now it can't boot without the hard drive connected. The best thing about that would be in SAR. I can plug it in live. Or hot or whatever you want to call it. Right. So I need the post screen so I can... Nope. I'm going to hit Dell. There we go. System time, I suppose I'd better set that, hadn't I? I don't know what the time is. Let's just have a quick look at my clock. 6.52. So... Eighteen. Oh shit. Is that tab then? To move across? Yeah. I don't think it's December two, um, 2004 either. It is April the 13th. Twenty twenty. Whoops, not twenty twenty one. Okay, so I'm assuming it's all. So it's not coming up with the hard drive, of course it's not, because I've unplugged the bloody thing. Duh. Boot! First boot device is removable. CD-ROM hard disk removable. I'll put that just for the shit out of it. Right. Escape. F10. Some yes, isn't it? Yep. There you go. You watch, that will recognise it. If it doesn't, get a punch. Put from the CD, there we go. My goal is just to make it a working system for now. Uh, I don't have the... Um, Model number of the motherboard jot down for this, do I? Because I'm going to need that. Not necessarily for that adapter either. And typically, I can't find a piece of paper. I'll just write it on this. And write it on the back of that. Pen. Dash S L I. I better put the S E on there just in case. Right, there we go. It's ready for later on. Pen back in the drawer. Job's good. It's an Asus adapter that one. Not all. Asus adapters. All well, pretty much the same bloody thing. Two hundred fifty-six megabytes of DDR2. I'm not going to bore you with this. I'll 
get it all set up and going then I'll oh, I need something in there so I can't use that one it's upside down oh, there's another PNY technology it's a GeForce 7200 DDR2, 120 megs of RAM. Oh, hello. That's the one I want. Format it. This might actually take a little while, so I'm going to pause you. Right, well, as you can see, it's installing XP now. Didn't take as long to do the formatting as I thought it would. Anyway, I have actually found out that this is a server motherboard. So it's not a standard motherboard. This is actually installing XP pretty quick. It's the quickest I've ever gotten to this point. So, I could probably use it as a main computer like this but now I know that and I know that everything is working that's why I'm actually continuing with Windows XP I'm going to see if I can find um, a copy of like WinServer or something to put on here uh, I know that looking through the operating system choices on the website you do get WinServer 2000 so I'll see if I can find a copy of that I actually have a copy somewhere. But, uh, if I upgraded the power supply, I could put like three other hard drives in, in there and it actually explains what's got all this upgradability as well. I have to say that uh, hard drive does not sound healthy, not for a SATA hard drive. Yeah, definitely need a power supply with more connectors on. And more SATA connectors on so I don't have to use adapters. We'll see. We'll see where I go with this one. But for now, we'll uh, just see if we can get it running. I've got some drivers. There's actually not a lot for Windows XP. I think I found the audio driver and some chipset drivers and whatnot. was actually used as a server. I don't know. It's going to have to have a fan put there and there. It hasn't got one. And I'm going to have to... Uh, if I did put this into use as a server, I'm going to have to check that processor fan. Um, thermal paste on it, that is. I wonder what processor this has got. I'm guessing this would have probably have been used for a small office. I'd actually make me curious now as to what it was used for. But for a server, I certainly wouldn't have put that power supply in there. I, mean, I would guess it's probably a small home or office. Network server, maybe. I'm just drinking, but this is the fastest I have ever installed Windows XP. It's nearly done. Registering components, finalising installation, and Bob's your uncle. Seriously, it used to take me on average 
probably about 45 minutes to install XP to a computer. Back in the day, that is. No, I don't need to boot from city. In fact, I can take the CD out, I think. Should have audio connected, but... I'm certain I don't have a Server 2000 disk key. Let me have Windows 10, Windows 7, Windows ME, just because. There's my disk that actually boots Windows from that disk. Not as It's not an install disk, it is actually a boot disk. That came with one of my machines that I picked up. Windows 7 Home Premium Disk, a 2000 boot, another Windows Millennium boot. Now we got a Windows Vista disk there, didn't know I had. Some more Windows 7. Got a Windows 95 and a Windows 98. And I've got another couple of Windows 98 somewhere. Well, it does all work, but now I want to put one in the server on it and turn it into a server. First, I want to know the specs. I didn't have to do this. Oh yeah, because I was already done on the other one. Tell her that video driver. So we've got a two gigabytes of RAM, an AMD Athlon 64 processor, 3200 plus 2.1 gigahertz. Processor's not that good for it, to be honest. Service pack 3, blah blah blah. That shut down really quick. I might also explain why it's got the dinky little fan on here as well. Right. Well, that was a short, sharp and sweet little video, really, wasn't it? It didn't take long to install XP on this, as I... Well, I thought it was going to take longer than that, to be honest. Anywho, there will be an update on that computer. Once I've got all the bits and bobs that I actually want for it. Um, if there's going to be a server, then I can get away with that sort of video adapter, I think. Um, yeah, I could add in some hard drives, I've got plenty of room for that. Change the power supply, add a couple of fans, and try to find a copy of Win Server. So, a bit of a short video. Bored now. Oh well, we'll move on to the next one, which is going to be a three-in-one. So, thanks a lot for watching. I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.